entering a time of year known for the best bargains around its yard sale season. And that's the point. You said you're not a yard sale I, guy. I don't, and a part of it, I, I have a hard time getting up. I don't know what's good. I don't know what's bad. I don't know what I can do <laughs> with it. That surprised me because you're a bargain hunter. I am. Maybe I'll be converted after today, you maybe, know? Maybe. And maybe you be, will be as well. You know, chances are you've started to see the signs. They're popping up all around the neighborhood. And those who shop yard sales do it regularly. But how do you become yard sale savvy? How do you sort the trash from the treasure? See, some of this stuff looks okay, but most of the time I just see like the trashy stuff. Christine <laughs> McKay from We Are Memory Keepers says yard sale success all comes down to the yard sale strategy. You're a big fan, right? I am a big fan, but you know what? I didn't used to be. I used there used to be kind of like a stigmatism to it, and I yeah. thought, oh, you know, I don't I don't want to go yard sailing. And then a good friend of mine said, Christine, do you realize every time you go sleep in a hotel and she knows I love to travel, you're sleeping on used sheets, used pillowcases, <laughs> and it kind of grossed me out. <laughs> You know, it really helped me. And when I started really getting into yard selling, it was when my husband was in law school, and she taught me how to go yard selling and resell your finds on eBay. Oh. So a good chunk of putting my husband through yard sale started out that really? way. Through law school. It did, through law school. Yeah. Um, eBay's changed a little bit, so I don't know if that market's quite as open as it was, you know, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. But what I started finding is I found things for myself. Things that you can actually transform. Things that I can transform. So when we look at why yard sale, if you're like there and you're kind of like, I don't know, I don't yeah. know. You it's say, that stigma thing, you know? Right, yeah. sure. That can be part of it. You say you can always find those one-of-a-kind crafts that you can transform. Absolutely. And for me, I am so fickle. I love trendy things. I love cute things. It's really too expensive to go out and buy brand new furniture every time or brand new, you know, um, colors of the season. And so what I found is I would find basic pieces. And then you could just transform them by a simple paint job, adding some new hard Hardware. And I have some pieces in my house that I bought at yard sales that I've now transformed three times. So, <laughs> for me, it's, it's really economical. We were talking last night, and she's like, I'm repainting a table as we speak. You were giving it kind of a new upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You see, it's fun. But it's just it's fun for so you. It's so fun. Because, you know, it's the whole uh, sorting through things. I'll be honest. I'm not a digger. If there's big boxes and piles of stuff, I'm not really, you know, I don't really love to dig to the bottom. I love the yard sales that things are kind of wide open. But you can always find unique one of the kind of things that you will never find anywhere else. And your friends come in your house and say, where did you get that? Yeah. It, because no one else has seen it. And you're a big crafter, too. Do you find things you can craft with on when you go in yard sailing? Absolutely. Um, find things that I can craft all the time. And for me, I'm not a perfectionist, and so I don't have to worry about making a mistake. Um, sometimes when you go buy something really nice to craft, you're worried that you're going to ruin it. Or, But with yard sailing, you know what? You've wasted a few dollars. Yeah, 50 cents down the exactly. drain. Exactly. okay with that. Yeah. So that's kind of the why to do it. We're going to talk about what to look for, the three things you should look for a product, but before we do that, you say a few basic tips, dress and layers. Dress and layers, because usually when you start out, um, especially here in Utah, it's going to be really chilly, so you'll want to wear like a jacket, um, but make sure you have a, a short sleeve shirt on underneath, because by about, you know, 11 o'clock, it starts to get really hot. See, this is a sport. It's it's are you kidding? It is a sport. It's a sport. It's a sport. You got to have the hat, you got to bring you have the, hat, you say. the sunglasses, bring small, small bills, because usually they don't have change. Um, do bring a checkbook, because I found that for the larger items, almost everyone will take a check. So bring a checkbook, bring small bills, bring a water bottle, and Darren, my favorite, yeah, do not leave without your hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big hand sanitizer. We are one and in the yeah, same here. I yeah. saw it on our list, and I'm like, yeah. thank you. Yes, need that. Yeah, Christine goes out with rubber gloves, which is yeah, I do. I've got sale, my you know? hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> I found some good things. Well, we, we're curious because you're going to show us some of the I cool am. things you found and what you've been able to do with it all, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, that's coming up next. Christine's going to show us the three things you need to look for when to decide if you're going to purchase it or you're going to pass up. So coming up, those three things: how to spot real treasure and when to skip the junk, plus the easy upgrades that will turn trash into treasure. That's next. Thank you.